My name is Stanley Ferguson. I was a guard at Alcatraz from 1933 to 1942. Today, I'm going to give you some insight into one of the more interesting tales from the prison's history. Over the decades, Alcatraz has seen more than its fair share of daring escape attempts. However, few were as audacious as the one undertaken by four inmates on New Year's Eve, 1933. Thought to be the brainchild of an inmate by the name of Albert Arlington, the outrageous scheme was as unlikely as its mastermind. It's believed that Arlington, a.k.a. the Weasel, somehow convinced three other inmates that he had devised a foolproof plan to escape the rock. It was a plan that would see them literally taking to the skies on a makeshift aircraft of Arlington's own design. Some folks gotta learn the hard way. Just how the Weasel managed to convince these hardened criminals that such a plan was even possible remains a mystery to this day. What is known is that no such plane was ever born. Instead, the group's plans for freedom soon descended into bitter argument and infighting. misguided Arlington and his former co-conspirators. Armed only with makeshift weapons, Finn O'Leary, Sal DeLuca, and Billy Hansen lured the unsuspecting Arlington to the roof, where they intended to exact the bloody and violent revenge. And so it was here, beneath the dark and stormy winter skies, that the hapless Arlington met his grisly end, bleeding to death on the cold concrete roof. For their participation in the murder, the three collaborators were sent to death by electric chair. Justice came swiftly. On the morning of January 19, 1934, the execution order was carried out. <laughs> That's all you live for! Oh, <laughs> 
what I've been talking about all this time. Is this significant? Can't afford to lose. This will be over soon unless I get some plugs. You start, and it's not you. Somebody sure did. Let's be 
before, believe me. It was always gonna end the same way. Ah, oh, this one don't wanna accept the inevitable. Remember how this goes! 